nigga, add a nigga to the channel, subscribe. If anything else, I'm something to do. Hey, hey, what's happening? What's happening? All right, so, um, I'm basically sitting about 17 hours fasting right now. I'm going to try to get a push in. And, uh, I'm a little tired right now, so all I had was a cup of coffee. And, uh, let's see. Hope you can see me. Anyway, I think I'm going to go light today, high rep. So I'm going to take you there with me and see what we can do. Alright, let's go get this.
right, so I just finished a light shoulder workout. Got a real good pump. Felt the stretch. Man, you know what I'm saying? You know, leave the ego at home. No ego lifting, man. We're bodybuilders, you know what I'm saying? We're not weightlifters. So, uh, you know, practice or concentrate on form, squeeze, mind muscle connection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm in there lifting 15, 20 pounds. I can lift more, but who cares? As long as I get that pump, I see the results, get them gains. It's a good day. All right, battery's dying, but I'm gonna try to see if you can go Chipotle with me, mail some t-shirts off, and uh, see what happens. All right. All right, so I'm at the post office now for the mail a couple t-shirts. Then I think I'm gonna hit some yogurt, some Five Guys, and Chipotle. Let's see if I can take you with me. Battery last, it is. All right. Before my battery die. Let me help you guys out there who's trying to do intermittent fasting. So, what works for me is, is I'm basically on a six hour eating window. I kind of take it extreme. So that's what I recommend doing. All right, so, not eating, if possible, at least three to four hours after you wake up. So let's say you wake up at 8 a.m. Well, let's say you go to bed every night, 10, okay? and you wake up at 8 a.m. in the morning so what's that you've already fasted 10 to 10 so 10 10 hours is that 10 hours 10 hours all right then you go to noon which is 12 o'clock we'll say it. it's four hours so you already fasted 16 hours at that point so at that point what do you want to do you can you can start your eating window which would be an eight hour eating window so what I would do if I was you was I try to push it a little longer, a little longer, about 17 hours. So I have a coffee. Coffee's great at kind of pushing it along your intermittent fasting, or just have something like a small apple. Just kind of carry over. Alright. Then my next meal would be for me, for instance, today, my first meal is gonna be I had a coffee. Now I'm going to Chipotle. I'm going to get double chicken, beans, everything, but I'm not going to get any rice. No carbs. Very low carbs. And then I'm going to go to Five Guys and get me an order of fries. So what will happen is, I'm going to eat the Chipotle. And right before I go to bed, right before about 10, 11 o'clock, I'm going to eat me an order of Five Guys fries. Now why? Because I'm still in my eating window. The carbs are going to keep me full. So I'm not going to wake up tomorrow hungry, and it's easy for me to fast all the way through to my next eating schedule. Now, I don't really sit like, eat at 12, don't eat, don't eat, whatever, whatever. I kind of make it fit me, right? Only, as long as you get that eating window or that time, it doesn't matter when you do it. So if I wake up at 1 o'clock, okay, well, I'll start at 1 o'clock. If I'm hungry, I eat. Don't make it hard, guys. Don't starve yourself. You know, just, you know, we space it out, but just, I mean, it's really simple. And, and if it fits, if I don't eat breakfast anyway, so it's perfect for me. It works perfect for my schedule. Like right now, I'm about 17 hours in and I'm not hungry, right? And I got 2,200 calories to eat the rest of the night. What do I do? I'm going to give me some yogurt. I'm going to go to Chipotle. And right before I go to bed, I'm going to have a big bag of Five Guy Fries. And I'm still going to hit my macros because if I want a lean bulk, I know my maintenance calories, I just eat two, three hundred calories more. If I want to cut, I eat two, three hundred calories less. If I want a deficit, I mean deficit, if I want to maintain, I come right in. So I'm looking about, I'm cutting, so I'm looking about 1,900 calories. I want to hit about 160, 70 grams of protein. About 140 grams of carbs a day. That's kind of like where I'm right near somewhere. Easy. Eat what I want. No restrictions. Great. Work it out for me. So I hope that helped you out. That don't make it hard, man. Don't make it hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, so if I, if the camera lasts, if my battery lasts, I take you up. Me. If not, just keep that in mind. The intimate fasting, you know, is it's no great mystery. Basically, your body's made. 
Your body is, is, God made you to kind of eat your fat. Your body stores fat, not because it wants to be fat, because it thinks it's going to starve. But when you starve, your body's not starving because it has that stored fat. So what I do, I utilize the stored fat of my body to maintain myself until I'm able to replenish with what I want. Now, eat is clean out. There's, there's no excuse to go out there and just eat crazy. But you can, but in moderation. So I'm going to have some yogurt today. I'm going to Chipotle give me double chicken bowl. But I'm not going to get any rice only because I want to save my carbs. Depending on how my numbers look, I might get a little rice. But I want to, you really can't, Chipotle is jacked up because you really, you got to guess. You know what I'm saying? A bro guess because today the girl might give you hella chicken. Tomorrow you might get no chicken, hella rice. So it's kind of hard if you're really strict cutting. But if you got a little flexible in there and you kind of eye it, um, then I'm going to Five Guys get me some fries. I want Five Guys fries today. So eat that late. And uh, calorie is calories out, the guys. And uh, I'm not going to wake up tomorrow hungry. It's going to maintain me through night when I'm full. I'm going to hit my numbers. I'm going to get my gains. I'm still getting ripped. Still getting shredded. It's all good, man. So uh, if you need some help with intimate fasting, hit me on the bottom, man. I, I shoot you out because I've done it. I've done them all. And I've went from 248. Down to about 210 now. And I am making gains and getting muscle. So I know I did it all. I did it all, man. And if you need some help with your macros or whatever, hit me up. I mean, it don't cost you nothing. You know, some free advice. You know what I'm saying? Like the twins say, you can do what the fuck you want to do. <laughs> I had to steal that. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's not a game? <laughs> Alright, Mark. Shout out to Mark Lover. Alright. Alright guys, so it's been a slight change. I was looking at my macros and I'm a little short on protein, so what I end up getting from Chipotle I got a triple meat I got a, a tri double beans lettuce um, no rice a little, and a little salsa and I got uh, fries from Five Guys, and now I'm at, you see it, Yogurt Land. So my macro, and then later I'm going to have a protein shake. So my macro is going to be 180 grams of protein, um, 160 grams of carbohydrates, and I'm looking at about 1,700, 1,800 calories for the day. So I'm pretty close to my macros. I should be pretty full by the end of the day. And uh, yeah, so um, once again, you see it. Shout out to Chris Jones. Get that yogurt, man. Get that yogurt. So once again, you got any questions about intimate fasting, hit me up. It's really not hard. The hardest part is deciding what to eat and how much to eat and uh, hitting them numbers if you really trying to hit the numbers. But keep in mind, if I'm shooting for 2,000 calories a day, or uh, in my case, 1,900 calories a day, that's not including what I burn in the gym. So I'm always at a deficit. So it's okay. It gives me a little leeway. I can go over a little bit, but I'm always at a deficit, and I'm trying, and I'm cutting. So that's great for me. All right. Um, for instance, if I was in a lean bulk, I would have added rice, probably got some guacamole, a little sour cream and cheese on the uh, Chipotle. But anyway, add, add a nigga, add a nigga to the channel. Subscribe. If anything else, I'm something to do. It helped me out, helped me grow.